Example. Well, let's answer some questions here, Jules. All right, we'll People take some more been, questions. Uh, sending in questions all over the from all over the country. Here is one from David Dohler, who is 10 years old, Philadelphia, and David wants to know, do they send the lamb adrift in space after boarding Apollo? I am a science fan. I am 10 years old. The answer, David, is yes. They do send it adrift in space. It'll orbit uh, the moon for X number of months and then finally impact the moon at some later time. Mrs. Thomas Fee of Edison, New Jersey writes, if any signs of other life exist, Will we see it or them along with the astronauts, or have they been advised to screen out such signs if they occur, or such sights, so as not to frighten the viewing public? I don't think there's anything in the flight plan about hmm. not showing us what they see up there. That's contingency plan okay. seven stroke four dash A. I, uh, I must tell you, Mrs. Fee, that I don't think the astronauts have been told not to show us anything. Uh, I think that if there's anything up there, we'll see it. And hear about it. Sandra Howard of Anaheim, California, would like to know, why aren't women allowed to participate in these historic events? If there is some specific reason, I would like to know it. And if not, I would like to know where to get an application. Well, you could write to Jules. Would you be able to tell her, Jules? How to get an application? <laughs> I don't know of anybody in the space program, Frank, especially any astronauts who are against having women aboard spacecraft or women in the space program. There are certain basic biological problems that have not yet been met and conquered, namely an ordinary uh, well, the, the mixed Russians, crews. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the fact that the Russians did... Uh, the Russians did get Valentina Tereshkova up in uh, one of their early spacecraft. The basic real reason is that the space agency up to now has insisted that only qualified jet test pilots could fly as astronauts until about two years ago when they started taking scientist astronauts and training them as pilots. And up to the point of that, up to that point, no qualified women test pilots had, had applied to NASA. Otherwise, NASA would have had a hard time rejecting them. So, but there is a reason to think that on future flights of several years from now, that scientists, women scientists may fly aboard as 